It's definitely spelled differently. Thanks so much, Elise. Hi. I'm glad you did that today. Thanks. Here I am. Fuck it. We got my good friend Ryan coming on. Bear with me, guys. I have oral surgery. I need a oral part. Those are really yeah. cute cheese. They make a lot of money. Thanks. They were super expensive. That's why my mother bought them. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, yeah. No, we'll not talk about it right now. I had a whole other thing about Christmas presents for her. Uh, so I've done a version of this before. I've done, uh, I've just finished two more versions because we finally have a printer now. So there are brand new books down there. There are some color ones. The most expensive ones I have. They are free. Please steal away. And then very soon I will start that project I talked to you about. Uh, yeah, that book, if I went to Office Max, it's like $6 a copy to print. Yeah, that's why I need my own printer. I can't steal them from a job I don't have anymore. This is part of what's going to be the second part of that book. It is called Lord's Temple Basement Men. Bear with me if you've heard part of it already. I promise it'll change. Lord's Temple Basement Men. It says on the door in a badly photocopied sign, replaced freshly each week. The original was built from torn up pieces of bootleg band vinyl stickers, left plastered all over the windows of some teenager, surely passed into decaying adulthood long ago. They gather in the bottom of an abandoned house in the heart of mostly warehouses, something someone long ago forgot to bulldoze in the wake of morbid industrialization and the zeal to just get more men and more jobs while giving them no life, no place to live. They built in their own obsolescence. A man stands outside, half cat calling, half showman barter, daring, tempting, bribing people to worship with him. In paint stained, torn jeans, long shaggy hair with a bald spot landing pad directly in the center of his head, and shoes barely hanging together on his feet, he bellows out the word. Somewhere between slam poetry performance and theology lesson, he entices and seduces people to enter. Here, they do not call him father or brother, just person, man. Hey man, is how they greet him. But when your empty heart is weighed, what are you really worth? These people call this faith. Bring them to my table. The next bit of gospel, I wrote it on a napkin. People enter a crooked doorway. The man pulls the peeling door behind them, scraping the ground as he does so, and leads his flock down the concrete stairs to the basement. They come to a dingy dirt gravel floor and spread out. The people in the room greet one another, then swarm around one woman. You'll be used to the treatments. I am not sure that you are. You will be missed. The man steps upon his usual milk crate to open the service. He intones the capitalist mantra. God save the queen, long live the king, hail to the chief, the lord of all lies. And the people chant, I will not kiss you, I will not bow, I will not bow, I will not be moved. I love the idea of what I have to be. Princess Mommy steps up to explain their purpose here. This is a strange, mad religious service. Everything is out of place, nothing, and no one seems to fit together. We all gather here, but no one seems together. This is less a sermon and more a discussion, where the gospel is debated. The holy word is discussed, dissected, compromised, altered, changed, shredded, reused, updated, recreated. It is burnt to cinders and rises as a phoenix, built out of the broken pieces of all that was said before. What used to be true, but is now casually agreed to be fallacy. This faith makes up a multitude. There are Baptists, Catholics, Jews, Muslims, agnostics, atheists, Satanists, Buddhists, capitalists, hippies, goth kids, Starbucks sipping bloggers, just plain weird kids in the back working on their D&D campaign. We are just people, and he is just a man. As a recovering Catholic Kevin Smith wrote, it is not important which faith you are, just that you have faith. The people are ready to receive the Holy Spirit in his unique brand of poetry performance. In the beginning, there was only the Word, a Word, and then more, which were collected into a story, the story. And from the story came creation. And then came the questions. And the question was man. Who are we? What are we? Why? Who am I? I am the mask wearing the man of eternity. In me, you see the face of history, a history we make up as we go. 
The God of fallen leaves leaves us, waiting for eternity to begin. The prophet Vonnegut says, the question echoes back through time and disappears. History, read it and weep. Tonight is a verb. From the crowd comes the first voice, reading from his screenplay. I was the table of contents, a footnote running away from the beginning of the book. Perhaps no one knew we were living happily ever after until the book was over. The mall rat replies, of all the words of mice and men, the saddest words are, it might have been. No need to despair, it was, it has. Somewhere else your soul is saved. All that might have has already happened. We are charming little liars, retorts the man. We are a beautiful blasphemy of God's word. The comic nerd slowly whispers, all is truth, but every man is a liar. Sell me another artificially derived slow suicide. A scientist cleans his glasses as he recites, a world full of smoke and mirror nonsense. It's a religion of smoke and mirror nonsense. Only the word is true and we make it up as we go. In nonsense is strength. So it is spoken, so it is true, the man energetically agrees. An alien voice asks Chapoli, touch me if you want to. Believe in me and the nothing I know. Sing the praises of the holy unknowing, croons the man. We know nothing, therefore we know all. And then he drops into a haiku. On moonless nights, I hide underneath beds with stray dust bunnies. I wait. A single bite was all it took. Now I take one for myself from you. A bi-gender beauty asks no one for permission. Let me sling a little freestyle verse. I'm steeplechased because some animal church wants to make me foxtrot and tempo with the brain boy. Pinocchio wants me to hog it soft like Big Ben McSomething, grateful and dead. A fountain of youth, ta youthful talent chemically imbalanced with a gray skull full of He-Man. Look at him, they say. Give him a gun, says another. A bomb, a third spurts. Show us your trigger finger, they yell. My little boy, Princess Mommy whispers below the rush of gruff voices, her words staccato. They answer her, so I can taste the infernal darkness as the crowd falls silent. Princess Mommy chides him. We know there is a sweetness in that which we cannot see. We know there is a danger in that which we cannot hear. Our bodies shake, our minds quake in anticipation of his words. It is almost time. The man speaks again. Surely it is known, my brethren, that we are the third coming, the breaking of the seventh seal that will signal the end of our oppressors. We will emerge victorious from the fires of battle. There will be no value left in the binary, no twos, only two or more. The old ways shall perish. We will shake off the chains, pull off the nails from our hands and feet, and the world which rejected us will rise anew under our leadership. Surely it is known. Surely it has been spoken. Jesus himself is at our back. And therefore, we shall not fail. What a wealthy country, but no one's coming to pay my bail, sings the Rainbow Man. They're bragging they own my soul. I don't want to bother anyone with my prayers, praised the fine judge person, secretly proud of leading the riot. Sensing it is time to take to the streets, the man closes the meeting with the same send-off. The word has evolved, my friends. So the weird nature is that is because more than half of that I stole from lines of someone else's stuff. Like little quotes I take at these poetry readings. Did I hear the name Vonnegut? There sure is. I stole some Vonnegut too. And then mixed it with a poet I know by the name of Terry Provost. History, read it and weave. Yep. And I also stole Kevin Smith line from one of those podcasts. Good. <laughs>